Choreographic objects are events, let's say, or, or actual objects or groups of objects that usually allow you to understand something about yourself, about your competencies, how well you can navigate, how agile you are, how strong you are, how quick you are, um, or not for that matter. I would say that the choreographic objects are like a little lens into your own physical life, like a little, a little view. The choreographic objects came about because I was asked, could I imagine an event in a particular space? And they said, but without dancers. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know, let me think. <laughs> so over the years, there have been this desire to have um, choreographic events, but not dance events per se. I have been asked to think within those spaces. Space is the main um, uh, instigator for all the projects. The pendulums, um, they need a certain amount of space or it doesn't work. Yeah, it's about dividing time over space. Yeah. Here is about 610. There are four large sections and each has four uh, cadre frames that move. So there's 16 different units that, that move. Um, so we compose the sound extra of the machine. Actually, the pendulums are, are only functioning as a kind of temporal obstruction. Um, it is simple. They're just a way to make um, uh, a progress not so important. Well, I would like the viewers to do a little less viewing and a little more interacting. <laughs> um, this piece works just fine uh, without people. Everyone lives in a different body is what I see. When I see people try to navigate the pendulums, I see that not everyone has the same physical experience as me. I have a life in uh, the body in a very different way than most people. And so I get to look at humanity in a very nice way.